Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. My name is Tanya. All right, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you press that play button. Please like on the way in. It gives me an energetic donation to the channel. It helps me tune into you. So, let's call on Spirit and let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit guides and angels, of you what it's like, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages and please protect my beautiful collective. All right, collective reading, right? Any energy, any sign. Take what resonates. Flip the roles as you see fit. And if the shoe don't fit, equip, my friends. This might be a message for somebody else. But it might, more than likely, if you're tuning in, I think that Spirit has a message for you. So let's see what it is. All right. Spirit, give me a message for the overall collective, please. What we got here is pain. Somebody's in pain. And it doesn't have to necessarily be physical pain, emotional pain. Because of karma. Ooh, spirit come through. Everything's flying on the floor. Spirit. All right. Clarity. Only you. So it's the pain regarding a person. Mm -hmm. And the cards on the floor, stress and twin flame. Oh, yay, yay. All right. So it's a karmic lesson because they ran, and running is at the bottom of the deck. Distracted is here, so they could have been distracted. Yeah, they want to confess to you. Or flip the rules as, as you see fit but there's hmm, this is somebody that could have ghosted you or if you're the person you ghosted somebody in your in your feelings about it there's a lot of pain associated with this memory you both could feel the same way there's a mirroring effect that's here because they're twin flame dynamic it's a lot of stress when you think about this person a lot of pain but there's clarity too and then there's shallow. So somebody could be feeling really empty. You know, you resisted the connection and you want to return, but you feel like maybe too much time has passed or you feel like this person wouldn't accept you at this point. But you're lusting after this person. You're dreaming about this person. Trying to connect in a 3D. With this person is what I'm hearing as well. Spirit, give me some more information. But this comma could be that this person's moved forward. You know, there's clarity that this is a true partnership or this was a true person. This is a person that you truly could have been married to. Could have been forever with. This is a forever person, but you didn't see that at the time is what I'm hearing from Spirit. The engagement ring. So this person could be, or you could have either been in a commitment with this person or engaged to be married to this person, or they could be engaged to somebody else and this is why you're in pain. This is why this could be your karmic lesson. You resisted the connection and now somebody else is not resisting and you're separated, right? Separated from this person, there's a lot of sadness could be even bitter about it as well because you see them happy with somebody else. You're learning from this and that's where the clarity comes in. You could be ascending, transforming. Things could be happening for you, but not like they would have been with this individual that <clears throat> you can't get out of your mind, you know what I mean? But you were distracted or this person was distracting to you and yeah, as much as you love this person or you loved this person or you didn't know you loved this person now, but now you realize you do love this person. At the time, you didn't see the value of it or you didn't see the connection going anywhere. Whatever the case may be, you ghosted this person. Maybe this person scared you. But you always had this person in your mind all the time. 
<clears throat> and you would thought, excuse me, that eventually you would connect with this person or something would happen if it was meant to be, right? Or maybe you just didn't think the person cared about you as much as you cared about them. I think that could be for some, but I think for the others, it's you didn't think you cared enough about this person. Maybe this person showed you too much caring. Maybe you felt like they were just, um, I don't know how to say it, um, coming on too strong for you. You backed away from it. The vibe was way, like almost suffocating and you wanted to push away from that feeling of just being overwhelmed by this person and they took that as rejection because basically that's what you were doing in a sense five 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 on the clock maybe they met somebody new and they're dating somebody or somebody serious maybe you're getting out there dating Maybe you have an online profile, you're dating online. Whatever the case is, you don't feel like there's a future with this person anymore. And maybe you never did. But you don't understand why you keep thinking about this person. There's competition now for this individual. You're reminiscing, you know. Mm -hmm. There's an ending. Coffin's here. But you feel like there's a chance that the phoenix could rise again and... You want to message this person because you love them. Maybe you didn't see that. You didn't see that person as somebody that you would love. I don't know. I think, yeah, heartbreak and pain, separation. You're separated from this person and it's breaking you. And I feel like you didn't anticipate feeling like this. It's kind of a shock or surprise. That's what it seems like to me. Like somebody's really surprised that they even care about this person. Let's go to the tarot and see if we can come up with something, an understanding of what happened here. So give me some more information about this. Maybe you were juggling situations and work and you were kind of focused your direction and somewhere else you were distracted and this person came into your life and maybe they were taking you away from your focus and you felt like I gotta push back from that because I gotta put my nose to the grindstone I'm trying to get somewhere in life climb the corporate ladder and this person's in the way of that and you pushed back and this person took it like you, you're rejecting me and maybe on some level you were but it was like almost putting them on a shelf for time and they didn't want to be put in that shelf now they have somebody else you're watching this person you're jealous because you wanted to be that you want to be that person and it's kind of like too late something like that there was somebody else maybe you thought they were going to be waiting for you and they would never find somebody else but you maybe they showed so much love and care to you that you felt like they couldn't possibly move on to somebody else the way they feel about me you, you, i think on some level you thought you had this person locked uh, let's see nine of swords is here but this person is very strong and courageous to you maybe you're trying to mirror that same bravery Maybe this person's teaching you something about yourself that you're braver than you think that you're stronger than you thought yeah you don't need validation from other people to be strong the moon is here yeah there's a lot of i think deception and illusions and i think it was yourself i think it was self-imposed delusions that you put upon yourself you have a negative self-image. You have a negative outlook at times. You fall into a, depress a depressive state at times and all you see is negativity. And this person was very positive in your life, gave you this hope, but you were, you kind of self-sabotaged it and went negative as you walked and do and looked at all the negative possibilities of the connection and you blocked your happiness four of cups is here and cups uh if i didn't say it um yeah the wands nine of wands 
is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in astrological signs. Four of Cups is here, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. I think you were just like, mm. you were closed off. You were closed off, yeah. Two of Cups is here, but you want to partner with this person. You needed balance, though. You needed... I don't know. You needed to step back from the situation to see the value of it, I think. To see the value in this other person. I don't... Not that you devalued this person, but I don't... I think you underestimated. If I was going to use the term... Underestimated their worth. Yeah. Maybe you thought they were just... Somebody that, like everybody else, was going to use you or wanted something from you and you realize that all this person wanted was you in, as a person, not what you could offer them. Yeah, I think you underestimated this person. The chariot's here, so there's movement, forward movement. Maybe this person moved forward in their life to success, to victory. You're seeing that. The lovers, they made a different choice. Yes. There's competition here and five of wands is here. You could have argued with this person. You know, thereby ending the connection. There's something there about arguing. There's something there that maybe there was the last conversation you had was an argument. And you t you walked away from this person after that. Four of Wands, yeah. You want a reunion with this person. I don't think you want to step on somebody else's toes, though. If you see them happy, successful, Nine of Pentacles is here. Ta Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is the Pentacles. I think if you feel like they're happy, then you're going to just give them their happiness and let them be happy and free while you watch them from a distance and sulk. Is what I'm hearing. The High Priestess. Yeah, this other person secretive and how they felt about you. Maybe they're not posting it online. Maybe they're not saying it um, verbally. Maybe they didn't say it to you or you didn't say it to them. So be it. But there's a mystery. There's a mystery and there's also the swords, so queen of swords. There is a guarding, a guarded attitude, a guardedness to this person. Okay, you're not quite sure what you're going to get. Swords is air uh, signs of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're heartbroken. Because two of swords. I don't think you made a decision. You stalled. You didn't make a choice. Knight of Pentacles, you want to offer up something to this person, give this person something, you want to be there for this person, whatever the case may be, you, you were slow moving and you didn't tell them, is what I'm hearing. Temperance, balance is here, As again, you needed that, you needed balance in your life, you might have been juggling too many things to focus on one thing, that's why distracted was here. Yeah, persevering. Detail oriented, you, you're trying, I think you were looking at money, yeah, money's here, eight of pentacles, I think you were looking at working hard, and this person distracted you from your mission, and you kind of took it out on them in some level, in some way, yeah, by ghosting them, by making them kind of, in a sense, pay for distracting you. Yeah, there's all these daydreams and illusions, choices that you had, or you thought you had, and I think... You felt like if you chose this person, then there was this whole wide world of options out there that you would not be privy to. Progress is here. There's public recognition. This person's being publicly recognized and you're seeing that. Maybe they're a very giving, loving person. Maybe they're very traditional. Maybe they, you felt like they would want that traditional ring on the finger marriage type of thing. And you judge this connection harshly. Judgment's here. Yeah, but now you're thinking about this person day and night. Fear and anxiety keep you awake at night for swords. And you wish you would have made a different choice. You know, you wish you wouldn't have been so concrete about it. You know, so black and white. Because this person really did make you happy. And they could have made you happy forever. But you... You stifled that. Knight of Cups. Yeah, Knight is here, but there's a... I don't know. There's an immaturity here. Maybe you looked at it in a very immature way. You weren't. Maybe there's a, there's a maturity difference. There's a level of maturity differences between the two of you. There was differences between the two of you that you felt like you could not overcome. And now it's left you heartbroken because this person has somebody else. Yeah, I mean, what do they say? 
hesitation is the mother of all mess ups that I'm saying in a nice way. Mm. That's all I have for you today on Empress Series 88. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Till next time, be safe out there, my friends. And be blessed. And one more thing before I go. I know ending it on a note like this kind of sucks, but just so you know, this person really loved you. And I'm not trying to stab the, stab, you know, take the knife and stab it in your heart. If you were wondering, because uh, here was the Queen of Swords, the uh, High Priestess, secretiveness. If you didn't know, now you know. Take care, everybody. Be safe.